Hey everybody, Corey here from Valley View Golf Carts and I brought my own personal cart in today to install my light kit. This is a club car precedent and I'm just going to install a basic light kit on it today. And uh, I just got it in the mail and this is what I got. Uh, you get a light bar with it and you get uh, your two tail lights and your harnesses. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it real quick. First thing you want to do is take that front bumper off. And um, you'll need a 10, 10 millimeter socket and a 13 uh, millimeter wrench. And you're just gonna take the bolts, two bolts on this bumper only. You're just gonna loosen them and take them off. And this bumper should pull right off. As you can see, this is the light bar you get in your kit, and it's already wired up and everything. You just gotta plug it in, but uh, the brackets just fit right over the main frame of the cart. Just gonna slide those on. And then you just gotta put the two bolts right back in where they came out of. Once you have those back in, you're just going to want to tighten them back down. Make sure they're nice and tight. Alright, and that's how you install the light bar. Uh, the next thing to do is um, come over here to the main panel and um, install this harness and this harness uh, is uh, your switch and everything and the nice thing about precedence is they're already pre-wired with everything all you got to do is plug everything in all the way up to 2007 all the precedents are pre-wired um, anything after that is um, hardwired so we have to wire it well you're just going to take this panel off and uh, to do that you just need a 30 little star torque bit Also on the top there, there's a little uh, star bit. I think it's a T15. Let's take that off. Once you do that, this should pull right off. And then all you're going to do is take this harness that came in your light kit box, and you're just going to plug it up to everything. This plugs right into this one. This is what runs to the front light bar and you've got a hole right here and you've also got a hole over by the steering column. I don't know if you can really see it, but um, you just run this down through there. Just like that. Also what you're going to want to do is uh, Cut a hole with uh, a drill, drill bit, or a Dremel tool to fit your key switch in. Not your key switch, your light switch. Sorry. And you just, we already, I already had one pre-drilled, and uh, you're just gonna stick that in there and uh, tighten everything down to it. And then you just want to put your little knob on there and make sure it pulls right. After that, you can put everything back. Just make sure you tuck all the wires in. Make 
sure they're not sticking out. Should go right back in there. And you can put all the screws back in. You ran that one to the front to the light bar, so you want to make sure you come down here and just find it and uh, plug it up. And let's see. Now that that's hooked up, next thing you want to do is take uh, your tail lights and hook those up. You're just going to hold your tail lights up there and uh, just make sure they run with the body and uh, place them there and kind of mark it with your finger or something and then you're just going to want to dremel a hole out and you can do circles or square or whatever and then inside of here is uh, another wire that's already been wired into the cart so you just got to fish it out uh, with a hook or something and plug your tail light right up and once you do that just feed it back in, and your tail light should sit on there perfectly. And the same goes for the other side. And the tail lights also come with uh, two screws. And you just screw them in here and here. And uh, that helps hold them on. They, they have 3M tape on the back of them, so obviously you're going to want to peel that off. And they stick to the body, and then you screw them on, so it um, helps them to stay on a little bit longer. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is hook everything up to make the connection. And like I said, the precedent's already wired up for it, so all you got to do is uh, plug it up, basically. Battery over here has a uh, has a blue wire coming off of the positive, so you just hook one end to that, and you just feed that down there. And then you take the cover off to the computer and everything. The cover should just lift off. And once you've done that, the hardest part is finding this blue wire, which, as you can see, it's sticking right out. But there's a blue wire in there. Um, sometimes it's buried in these wires, so you kind of got to pull them apart. This one happens to be sticking out. So you just find that. You feed this blue wire down into here. And then you just plug it up. And I always make sure the lights work before I put it all back. And you're just going to pull the switch. As you can see, the light bar is working good. And then make sure you go back and check your tail lights. They're kind of hard to see in the light, so you just stick a hand up there and make sure you get a little bit of light on. They're both working. So that's how you install a precedent light kit on a, a basic light kit on a precedent. So thank you.